So we are again the same cantilever ABC. We have W equals to UDL on the first half. Second half is free, no loading. We can add here point load also. Again, we have to find out what is the deflection at point B, what is the deflection at point C, what is the theta B at point uh, B, what is the slope at point C, and for beam AB we have E I, and for BC we have twice E I. Means what? For this part we have the value of E I, and for this part we have value of twice E I. So I increase the dimension so that becomes twice E I. So this time this reaction is same as WF. You have to draw the elastic curve once you final curvature diagram. If you have a elastic, if you have a curvature diagram for section AB as well as BC, then we have a complete beam equal to elastic beam. If there is no bending moment diagram area form for BC, then it will be modeled as rigid beam. So this is WL. So what is the, this moment? Is it this moment is W into L divided multiplied by L by two? And that is anti-clockwise. So this one is W L square by two. So we have to SFD will be W L upward, then goes to zero, and then there is no W L. Shear force is zero here. So this point is A, this point is B, this point is C. Distance L, distance L, and height of this one is W L. The bending moment at this point is anti-clockwise. So you have to go downward. The what about the shear force here? Is this shear force is positive? This shear force is positive. But is this shear force is decreasing? So do you have a positive curve like this? And if the slope is decreasing, is the area first of all is this one is minus W L square divided by two? Right now we are in bending moment diagram, huh? and this area is also W L square by two. So will this curve will going to touch like this? And since there is no area at this point, so if the bending moment diagram is also like this, it means that we have the property. Is this we have a bending moment diagram here? So we have a elasticity here. So we will get a deflection curve here. But is this point has a zero, no bending moment? So this part will be treated as rigid. If no bending moment, if no bending moment, it means that the value of deflection will be zero. So this one is elastic. He has not given rigid, huh? He has said twice E I. But since there is no load loading here, so this part will not going to deflect. Only this part will deflect. So how it deflect? It will deflect first with the horizontal. Then will deflect like this. And afterward, since it's a rigid, you have to join by straight line. So this is the slope equals to theta v. Now see, it's the same straight line. So this slope is also same as theta c. This deflection is y c. And this deflection is YB. What is the degree of this one? Is it two? So draw very carefully. Yeah? There is a straight line here because this is a rigid body. This is treated as rigid beam. So first of all, we are going to calculate the slope at B. To calculate the slope at B, we have to take first point as a reference that is theta A. The slope at theta A equal to what? Zero. So minus theta A. Therefore, you have to consider the area of BMD from point A to B. Divided by E I. This time I have not written E I. Huh? Whenever I have variable value of E I, I will not prepare curvature diagram. Rather than I will stop at bending moment diagram and then individually I will add E I. So what is the area of from A to B of BMD figure? This one is plus value, huh? treated form. This one is one one third. This one is L. Degree is two. So this area is one by three. Base is L. It is W L square by two, and now we'll confirm what is the A for this one. Is it E I? Yes. So now we write E I, and now the slope is zero. So what is the value of theta B? W L Q by six E I. Now same thing we'll do for slope at C, but we'll not use this method. We'll go by this method. We'll prove that this and these are same answers. So from this we have to go for theta C minus theta A. So one area is this, and second area is this. But the second area was zero. So the answer is same as W L Q divided by six E I. Actually, the second part has zero area, and you have to divide it by twice E I. This part has zero area, and you have to divide it by twice E I. So that actually equal to what? Zero. So what is the value of theta A? A is zero. So what is the slope at C? Slope at C is same as W L Q 
divided by 6 here. Next, we will calculate the deflection at point B. To find out deflection at B, we have to first find out theta A, that is slope at 0. Opposite of this one is B. So, you have to measure the distance from B. So, you have only one area. So, that area equals to what? This area is same as this area. A is W L Q divided by 6 here. And what is the central distance from this point to this point? So, this is a little done. It is 3 by 4. W L to the power 4. Now, I want to calculate Y C. To calculate Y C, I have to take point A. Opposite of point A is C. So, this time I have to mark my distance from C. So, instead of this, I will mark my distance from here. Area remains same. So, this is same as W L Q divided by 6 here. L plus 3 by 4 L. This is 7 by 4 L. And this is uh, 24. Divided by 24 here. And you can get the same answer from this calculation also. Check this calculation. Is this YC is consist of YV plus this distance. This distance is L multiplied by theta V. So, we have op option 2. That is YC equals to YB plus theta at point C multiplied by L. YB is WL to the power 4 by ATI. This value plus slope at C is WLQ divided by 6 E I multiplied by L. Solve this one. You will get 48 and 14. 14 by 48 is same as 7 by 24. You have both options.